before Gothic. And you ought to remember Gothic. Renaissance, Gothic, Baroque, all these are styles through which periods are noted. When we say something happened in the Gothic, it means certain age. But also Gothic, I told you, till Gothic, European Christian, Christian uh, civilization was inferior in the Middle Ages. Till it comes out <clears throat> around that time. And Gothic is one of, probably one of the first expressions of sophistication. What's the sophistication about all this? All this is built without foundations. They did not have the technology at the time to dig deep enough to hold structures that are that large. So it has no foundation. What holds together? Balancing. Balancing. In other words, what you have, the whole, the whole principle of Gothic is a pillar that is held together by the other pillar through a bow. Bow of stones that are carved in such a way that they hold. Is this enough? The pressure goes to the sides, right? If you have a pillar and a pillar and a bow of, of stones, the last stone is carved in such a way where it comes in last. What holds it? Every, the whole weight will go to the side. And this is why you need the what? No, not the windows. What? This is why you need the flying buttresses. The flying buttresses are those stones on the outside that basically hold it together. This is this is the principle, and from that, so it's an act of balancing. Do, do you get the point of what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It's called flying buttresses. It's basically somebody holding that thing like that from the outside. We'll show it to you once again. Why is there a door up there? Pardon? There's just a door up there. Well, they probably needed a door up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so if you if this used to be at the time the largest hall, the largest hall in Europe. It's a huge hall that is held together by this very sophisticated system of, of arches and flying buttresses. Okay? Which they used eventually also for these horse games, jousting. Right? Fine. Question What do they do with the horseshoe? Manure. Throw it out the window. This is very, very tall. It's very, very high up. And what they did was throw it out the window. For years they threw it out the window. That became a very, very important factor in the history of the world. How did this become a factor in the, 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 the history of the world? Well, it so happens. We mentioned it, but not emphasized the fact that religious religious tension comes from here, from Prague, before Luther. It was something that that uh, Camilla called the Hussites. The Hussites. We'll, we'll still have a chance to talk about it. So, some of the people here were Hussites. And some of the people were Catholic. Now, all this place was under the emperor in Vienna, who was a Catholic. Habsburgs were Catholic. The aristocracy here were Hussites at the time. And there was a kind of a, 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 a relationship where both sides tolerated each other. Till 
one time when the emperor thought that he ought to show the aristocrats here their place. And he sends his officials from Vienna, they come over here, and they decree all kinds of limitations on the rights of the Hussites. And the Hussites are sitting down in the lower city having beer as they get this note, uh, this note that says, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. They say, what? He is going to tell us how to do or what not to do. They walk up, they walk up the hill, they break into the castle, and they know that these are these two officials from Vienna that came here, who sit in the back door over there. They kick the door open, and they say, where are these two officials? You guys, huh? Okay, they take them. And they do what people do only in this country when they don't like it. What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call it? <laughs> and they have a name for it. They defenestrate them. They defenestrate them, meaning they throw them out the window. They take these two officials and throw them out the window. Into the horse. And it so happens. <laughs> that these people fall into the piles of horseshit. <laughs> so they don't get killed. They don't get killed. They just smell. They just smell. And they, 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 they crawl out. They crawl out and they leave. And they run away all the way to Vienna to tell the emperor what the Hussites did. Well, the, the emperor is not pleased at all. First of all, he has them clean, but then he sends an army. He sends an army uh, over here. It takes, all this takes uh, uh, about two years. The army uh, uh, comes over here and they beat the hell out of the 